The company that I've been working with now is ready, I think, to get on the stage and turn their bodies into these, what I call these full-bodied rhythm makers, which are also bodies that carry a tremendous amount of emotional commitment and a tremendous amount of human appeal. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm doing the two new dances I am. One, one of them uh, inspired by the music of George and Ira Gershwin. And um, I'm, I'm particularly delighted about this one because I love their music and therefore I've been terrified for a long time to use it. It's filled with wit, it's filled with tenderness. It also has a kind of rawness to it as well because we're sort of leading up to it with my other famous source of kick me around, which is James Brown. What I'm doing by, by sticking James with George and Ira is trying to create an environment that is essentially rhythmic and essentially about how rhythm bursts through bodies in different kinds of emotional states. It's a romance, but I'd say it's a wry romance. It's uh, more based on, uh, I suppose, the kinds of uh, romantic relationships that happened in the screwball comedies of the 30s and 40s. I hope that this uh, sort of combination of multiple rhythms is going to help to tell a contemporary romantic story, even though the music that we're using is not of literally today. Love, love.